Dear all, it's a great pleasure that you have joined this webinar on the pathway to test guidelines from science to standards for nanomaterials. This webinar consists of a series of three presentations by Thomas Kulbusch, Mar Gonzalez and Eric Bleeker. Welcome. Before starting the presentation, the first presentation of this webinar, I would like to uh, inform you and give you some general information. This webinar is a joint initiative between the projects funded by the European Commission, NanoHarmony, led by the Federal Institute for Occupational Safety and Health Germany, and NanoMed, led by the OECD. All pre three presentations are available on YouTube. You see the link below. The link is www.nanoharmony.eu or OECD slash NanoMed. On 16 September at 2 p.m., we will start a live discussion about these presentation where we will answer key question, questions which you may send in before or ask during this live discussion. And we will also look and give hints to the future priorities we want to set or you would like us to set. After the 16th of the September, we will catch up with you and we will make the live recording available to all of you again via the web links on the web pages on, of NanoHarmony and the OECD NanoMed webpage. With that, I'm happy to start the actual presentation Introdu Introduction to Standards and Test Guidelines for Nanomaterials by me, Thomas Kulbusch, from the Federal Institute for Occupational Safety and Health Germany. Why OECD test guidelines is one of the first questions we, uh, we ask ourselves when actually starting these projects. The answer is pretty easy. One of the main focus areas of the OECD is the focus area of chemical safety. And here within the chemical safety, the OECD works together with, a govern, uh, with governments to, significant and to work on significant and comprehensive regulatory frameworks for preventing and or minimizing the health and environmental risk posed by chemicals. And this is done by testing the chemicals, assessing the results and taking appropriate actions. How is the testing done? Testings are done by test guidelines. These test guidelines have to be internationally agreed. And this is done not only by the OECD, but by the governments of the OECD member countries. So the regulatory bodies of the different governments are directly via these governments linked to the OECD and the test guideline. And results obtained with methods or with, uh, uh, with yeah, methods developed or given by test guidelines have to be accepted by all OECD member countries via the mutual acceptance of data agreement, which makes it very important that we have test guidelines. These are internationally agreed, internationally used. And if that is done and the testing is done with the principles of good laboratory practice, then this test results can be used in all the different OECD member countries for the assessment of the safety of the chemicals. And this is not only for chemicals which are already in place, but is also for new ones as highlighted in the focus area above. New ones, they shall always also be properly assessed before being placed on the market. And that relates to nanomaterials. And hence, we, Nanomet and NanoHarmony work on the level of test guideline developments together to get this done. And that is also why the EU research projects contribute directly to the developments of test guidelines. So these EU projects dedicated to contribute to the development of the scientific background of OECD test guidelines in order to enable nanomaterial related regulations are specifically NanoHarmony and NanoMet, but there are also some other projects directly or indirectly working towards test guidelines and guidance documents for nanomaterial testing and assessment. The difference of test guideline and guidance document will later on be explained by Mar Gonzalez, the following presentation and clearly indicating the difference between these test guidelines and guidance documents. So the EU research projects 
facilitate the development of new and adaptation of existing test guidelines and guidance documents to be used for nanomaterials. And it is very important to ensure that these test methods, test guidelines are accepted by the OECD member countries, that we have to collaborate internationally worldwide. And we are seeking this international collaboration for each of the endpoints investigated. So test guideline endpoints, you will see that we have a long list of test guidelines already being developed, but also quite a few which still have to be developed. And you see here an example of seven out of more than 20 test guidelines, which we have listed in our list. And you see the titles, but you also see that we have different sponsors. So sponsors for test guidelines can be member countries of the OECD, can be the industry, can be uh, EU projects or other international projects, EU projects also like GoFornano, RISCON, NanoRigo or some other projects. And more, having more than 20 contribution already shows that we need some coordinating effort, that there is not too much duplicated in research works towards the uh, development of test guidelines and guidance documents. And to show exemplarily how, the co how important coordination and cooperation is for these kind of developments, I would like to take the example of the determination of solubility and dissolution rate in water and relevant synthetic biologically mediums. Several methods exist to test for solubility and dissolution rate. The developments were done in different countries. For dissolution and dissolution rate, already we have maybe two different test methods we have to employ. And these test methods should be applicable for the FISCHEM characterization, for the human assessment and for the environmental assessment. So just working on this and related test guideline to dissolution and solubility is already showing that it's a complex situation. And NanoMet and NanoHarmony try to facilitate the development to avoid duplication of work and to increase the speed of development by enhancing the flow of information. And flow of information means also to give the whole process a transparency. And this webinar is one way to assure transparency and to ensure international co uh, cooperation. Another Cooperation is one we have specifically ongoing between the 3rd and 5th of November, where we, NanoHarmony and NanoMed, have a specific workshop. This online workshop is with several sessions only dedicated for the specific test guideline or guidance document developments or the scientific needs and background for these developments. And they will meet, discuss in detail and having it on uh, online we will make it available or it is available for international experts, invited experts. I already indicated before that dissolution, dissolution rate, solubility is somewhat a complex uh, method or a complex topic. And therefore, one of the overarching issues will be, this will be discussed as an overarching issue in one of a discussion session on dissolution, dissolution rate test methods with international experts. And last but not least, we have a longer open session where we'll present the current status and open issues related to TGGD developments and future steps, where you may ask also some questions and where we try to achieve some interaction as much as is possible. For the open session, you can register at www.nanoharmony.eu. So with these two um, meetings, webinar and workshops, we want to actually stress and show a lot better the development processes. And having this kind of complex situation, cooperation and collaboration on international level has to be facilitated and has to be stressed. That's what we would like to actually push forward. And we welcome this kind of international collaboration from research, regulation, industry, governments and non-governmental uh, organization specifically to achieve practical, regulatory, usable and internationally accepted test guidelines and guidance documents. The whole process is not always easy and straightforward. 
So we, in short, in short, have the aim. We aim to inform, improve, and increase the efficiency of test guideline and guidance document developments for the safe use of nanomaterials worldwide. With that, I would like to introduce the following presenters. They will present detailed information on TG, GD developments, and research, which where you need distinguished speakers who are knowledgeable in the field to actually present this. And Margo Salas from the OECD will present the processes of the OECD for global TG development and the roles of scientists and regulators in this process. The second presentation or the following presentation is, is given by Eric Blicker. He really gives examples of the scientific steps in TG developments to underline the necessary bridging of science and regulation. Just pure science working on a regulatory issue, test guideline will not work and a regulator without science will also not work. So we need this bridging between science and regulation. With that, I happily pass on to Margon Salas to the next presentation.